time to heal and reflect. Here's a live picture at 38th and Chicago Avenue, where George Floyd's life came to an end last May. It's now a memorial and the site of a mass celebration hours after this verdict was read. We have reporters across the Twin Cities as people gather in the hours after this verdict was announced. First, let's go to Bab Santos, who has been live at 38th and Chicago all day long. Babs, the uh, atmosphere there all day long has been one of jubilation. Yeah, people started showing up here around 4 o'clock. They've been celebrating this verdict. We've heard fireworks, lots of music, and people are even taking pictures. Because after this trial, watching it week after week, so much uh, testimony that was traumatizing for some, I think they really just need a way to let it out. Earlier today, I spoke with the family of one of the witnesses in the trial, Charles McMillan. He saw everything happen on that day last May, and he spoke with both George Floyd and Derek Chauvin on the scene. The family says it's glad Chauvin was found guilty, but they feel there is still a long way to go. They pointed to the recent police killing of Dante Wright in Brooklyn Center, and that thought is definitely shared by this crowd out here tonight. Derek Chauvin is a symbol of a start where the tide is turning, but this has been going on for way too long. How policing was created and continues to operate, and Kim Potter needs to be held accountable and put in prison as well. And for much of this night, the crowd has been ch chanting, one down, three to go, referring to the other three police officers on the scene when George Floyd died. Back to you.